Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Vue.js tutorial for beginners in Hindi and this is our part 38. In this video session guys, we will see about radio button and select box binding in Vue.js application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Vue.js tutorial. So basically guys, now we have talked a lot about our future story. So in the previous video sessions, we have talked about our input binding as well as checkbox binding. Okay? So in this video session, we will talk about the radio button as well as select box. Okay? So just back to editor. So far, this is the code that we did. Okay? Here we have done all the coding. This is for the checkbox binding. Okay? So basically guys, I will add a paragraph tag. And now, inside this paragraph tag, guys, we are going to add some of the radio buttons. Okay? जहाँ radio buttons हम use करने वाले हैं. Okay? So basically, radio buttons use करने का purpose होता है, guys, कि हम basically कोई एक value को select कर करा सकें अपने user के जरिए. Okay? And basically, checkbox binding is something called check multiple boxes. Okay? जहाँ पर हम multiple inputs और multiple values user से ले सकते हैं. And but the radio button is for single value. ओके, सो हम क्या करेंगे गाइस एक रेडियो बटन बनाएंगे जहां पर हम सेलेक्ट जेंडर की ऑप्शन देंगे ओके जहां पर एम्प्लॉय की जेंडर सेलेक्ट की जाएगी ओके सो बेसिकली लेट्स से दैट लेबल सेलेक्ट जेंडर ओके सो बेसिकली लेट्स डिफाइन अनदर लेबल फॉर दैट लेबल एंड समथिंग कॉल इनपुट टाइप radio okay so this is for the angular bracket radio okay and value something called mail okay here is mail also so if i copy this label just copy and paste this is for the female okay and third Let's take another value, something called other. Okay. So basically, this is for the other. Okay. So basically, guys, we have implemented our radio button list. Okay. Or जो हमने previous video session में बात की थी, guys, ये रही हमारी check box. Okay. जहाँ पर user multiple check boxes को check कर सकता था. बस in case of radio, we have to select only one value at a time. Okay. So मैं क्या करूँगा, guys? Just we are going to define another property inside this employee object. ओके okay, इसके अंदर हम एक और प्रॉपर्टी डिफाइन करने वाले समथिंग कॉल्ड जेंडर ओके सो राइट नाउ दिस इज एज द एम्प्टी वैल्यू ओके उसके बाद गाइस हमारे जो प्रीव्यू डिटेल्स फॉर्म है वहां भी एक पैराग्राफ टैग ऐड करेंगे एंड नाउ इनसाइड दिस पैराग्राफ टैग लेट्स से दैट जेंडर ओके दिस इज लेट्स एम्प्लॉय जेंडर ओके और यहां पर हम वैल्यू से शो करेंगे समथिंग कॉल्ड एम्प्लॉय डॉट जेंडर ओके this is employee called gender. This is the property that we have defined inside this employee object. Okay, this is colon symbol. So just go up. Uske baad guys, hum ek directive use karne wale something for the V model. Okay, this is for the binding. Okay, so V model something called employee dot gender. Okay, just mai se copy karunga and paste inside this female section and inside this other section. So if I save this file, go to browser and now this is our output screen. Okay. So let's fill simple detail. Sanjay email abc at gmail.com. Designation should be something PHP. Post is something developer and designer. And now we have called a gender system. This is for the radio button. Okay. So if I clicking on mail, this is called the employee gender as the mail. Okay. So actually basically how radio buttons work. Okay. So if I back to editor. So basically guys, ये हो लिस्ट जो कि हमने प्रोवाइड किए हुए हैं. जैसे भी हमने किसी भी रेडियो बटन को चेक किया, basically this value section, this value has been stored inside our V model. Okay. उसी तरीके से इस वैल्यू को स्टोर होती है गाइस, वो डिटेल हमारी यहाँ पर प्रीव्यू हो गई. Something called employee dot gender. Okay. So basically these are called the radio button binding. Next, we have to discuss about guys select box binding. Okay, so basically, make our paragraph tag define. Karenge. Let's define a paragraph inside this. We have to define a select box. Okay, so let's select a 
inside this select we have some options okay so basically some of the option contains something called option inside this option let's pass some of the values about the seniority okay means jo employee details hum fill karenge guys wo actually wo senior hoga junior hoga ya hamara super senior hoga ya hamara team leader hoga okay so basically these are the informations we are going to store inside this select box so just go down main kya karunga guys ek array banaunga apne senior ke naam se okay so right here just define call labels okay this is an array okay so let's say senior let's say junior let's say team leader and next should be something called motivator okay so something called motivator okay so if i copy this labels just go up and now we have to call labels here okay so v4 directive ko use kare guys hum un values ko dynamically read karne wale hain apne is options mein okay so we are going to use called v4 this is for the looping condition okay so v4 let's say label in labels okay it's not labels it's employee or basically it's labels okay this is not the employee object okay so yahan par guys hum just going to use binding and let's say label okay so if i say that go to browser this is the select box okay so these are the values guys actually populated by the label section that we have defined dynamically inside this data object okay now we are going to store our values okay means jo value hum select kar rahe hain guys usse hum store karne wale hain okay so just go up inside this select we are going to use called a b model okay by selecting any value from this option jab bhi koi value hum select karenge apne option se this value will be stored inside this v model okay so let's say employee dot label okay hum ek object property define karne wale hain apne employee object ke andar so just go down and let's say that label okay this is employee object so if i save that Inside this preview detail section, we are going to make some another paragraph tag. Okay, so let's see that paragraph and something called employee level. Okay, this will gives the value of employee dot level. Okay, so if I save that, just go to browser, reload our page. So if I fill some of the values, so let's say Sanjay, okay, its email should be something abc at gmail dot com. Designation should be PHP. Let's pass it as a designer and developer too. Select gender, something called male, and finally we have like a senior, okay. So by selecting, as we can see that employee level as a senior. ओके सो बेसिकली गाइस दिस इज कॉल्ड द सेलेक्ट बॉक्स बाइंडिंग ओके जहां पर हमने अपने सेलेक्ट बॉक्स को बाइंड किया अपने डायनेमिक वैल्यूज के साथ साथ ही साथ उन वैल्यूज को हमने सेव किया अपने वी मॉडल डायरेक्टिव में ओके okay? और उन वैल्यूज को हमने प्रीव्यू किया अपने इस प्रीव्यू डिटेल्स पेज पे सो बेसिकली गाइज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो सेशन वी एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द रेडियो बटन बाइंडिंग एंड सेलेक्ट बॉक्स बाइंडिंग ओके सो बेसिकली गाइज हमारे प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन लाइक थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी एट इन तीनों को मिलाकर गाइज हमने फॉर्म इनपुट्स बाइंडिंग के बारे में थोड़ी सी डिटेल ले ली है जैसे हमने प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन में बात की थी अपने इनपुट्स बाइंडिंग के बारे में चेक बॉक्स बाइंडिंग के बारे में नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द रेडियो बटन बाइंडिंग एंड द सेलेक्ट बॉक्स बाइंडिंग ओके सो फार गाइज आई थिंक दैट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अब आवर फर्स्ट लेवल ऑफ form input bindings so for the summary point of view guys if we go to editor so basically kisi bhi form inputs ko bind karne ke liye guys we have a directive called v model okay jahan par hum kisi bhi inputs ke value ko store kar sakte hain aur use hum preview kar sakte hain okay so this is how about radio buttons as well as for the select box okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day